موضوعنا اليوم بالنسبة لكمان مرة ثانية هاي المحاضرة لطلاب الطب في السنة الخامسة في كلية الطب في الجامعة الهاشمية في عام 2017 وأنا الدكتور رائد شطنان نحكي عن موضوع الـ Age Related Macular Degeneration as a differential diagnosis of a chronic progressive painless gradual loss of vision. Uh, Age-related macular degeneration, AMD, is the commonest cause of irreversible visual loss in the developed world. It can be classified as dry, non-exhaustive age-related macular degeneration, AMD, and the other uh, type, which is wet or exudative AMD. So, for the dry AMD, the pathogenesis, normally the retinal pigment epithelium metabolizes the outer segment layer of the photoreceptors and get rid of the lipofuscin or lipofuscin and other metabolites resulting from its uh, damage. With age, this function decreases and these metabolites start to accumulate in the Brooks membrane So deposits from which deposits form, which can be seen with the ophthalmoscope as discrete subretinal yellow lesions called the drusens. So these are drusens. You see the deposits here. These are drusens. Uh, of course, this picture is for uh, wet AMD. Rahija uh, wet AMD الآن. Mark في the dry. AMD, the whole mark is drusen, uh, the presence of drusens, and geographic atrophy of the chorioretinal uh, layer, and the chorio choroid and retina. While in a wet type of AMD, the whole mark is choroidal in new vascular membrane CMV. This will lead to subsequent hemorrhage, scarring, and foveal detachment. The dry, then, then this is comparison between dry macular degeneration, a dry AMD, and the wet type of AMD. So, uh, in the first column to the left, dry, and the right, and uh, the second column to the right is the wet. So, uh, the tissue of the macula are thin as cells disappear, while here there is abnormal, abnormal retinal blood vessels develop in the layer of tissue under the macula. Uh, in the dry, there is no evidence of scarring or of bleeding or other fluid leakage at the retina, while here these vessels may leak fluid and the blood under the retina, uh, eventually uh, causing scar tissue formation. Both eyes may be affected simultaneously in the dry AMD. In the wet type, it develops in one eye and the other eye will follow later, so it is uh, asymmetrical disease. Uh, in the dry type, Central vision is slowly and painlessly affected. Uh, here, the loss of vision tends to progress quickly. So, first it is progressive, but when there is hemorrhage or scarring, it becomes a uh, sudden onset if there is hemorrhage. The doctor can usually diagnose macular degeneration by examining the eyes with an ophthalmoscope or slit lamp. Sometimes, torsion angiography is used to determine the, the diagnosis, especially to localize and locate the choroidal and new vascular membrane. So this dry AMD, you can see the uh, drusens here, yellow, discrete, and under the, under the retina. And here, the wet AMD, the home can show the small hemorrhage associated with the subretinal For the dry, for the AMD. For dry AMD, there is no definite medical or surgical treatment. 
over the ARIDIS study. The ARIDIS stands for Age-Related Eye Disease Study. Age-Related Eye Disease Study the trial. They found benefit with some vitamins along with high dose of antioxidants, vitamin E, lutein's. These vitamins, these supplements, antioxidants can uh, delay the progression of the disease. For with AMD, uh, we have the anti uh, angiogenetic angiogenesis. Uh, they can cause regression of the abnormal blood vessels and improve vision. Well, uh, let's talk about the pathogenesis of the AMD. As we said, includes development of new blood vessels. How the new blood vessels are coming? Because of there is a substance we all know called VEGF, vascular endothelial growth factors. It is secreted by uh, degenerative ischemic tissue. So once the, once the retina is weak and ischemic, it will uh, release the VEGF, vascular endothelial growth factors. These VEGFs will cause the formation of, of a new vascularization. So if we give the patient anti-VEGF, anti-VEGF, this will cause regression of the abnormal blood vessels. The mode of administration of these anti-VEGF materials is intravitreal. inside the vitreous, containing one لازم تعرفوا لو حدا حكى لك من أقاربك من الناس اللي ممكن تشوفهم old age إنه I have been given intraocular injection فلازم تعرف إنه واحد من هالأدوية اللي it can be used to manage with type of AMD. Thank you very much. طبعا the prognosis of AMD is bad and those patients they become legally they become blind with type. Thank you very much. Uh, for your listening.